Hello, VR addicts. Welcome to my channel. I am Paolo Triani, and today we're、uh, doing a first impression of Grip. Now it has VR support. The only problem is, though, it's a little kind of like.、Um... <laughs> All right.、Uh, here we are in Grid, and I want to apologise for the screen、uh, screen failure a little bit just here. It's because we've got boxes with my costume stuff because we were going to move, weren't we? But now we're in a lockdown.、Um, I have put a green screen、uh, um, cover over it. But the lighting is not coming off it very well, and I've got to say this is very cheap because the colour is like a、uh, grass green and not really a lime green. It's actually worse than the actual wall behind me,、um, which is a、uh, not even a proper chroma key either. In fact, the carpet I'm sitting on right now that I bought is probably more chroma keyed than that. I do have a pop up though as well. I could have used that, but the pop up would have just been in my face or something. All right, it looks all right. Well, actually, it's a little bit blurred out, so maybe there's a graphic setting somewhere. I, I don't know.、I'm、just checking to see if the sounds coming through. Yeah. Okay, the moss is quite flat. Green energy pads are obviously boosters. I don't. You don't need to tell me that. I obviously know that. It's cool the customizations and stuff of all this. I like. I'm a fan of red and green, so but I'm going to go red here, and、I'm, we're going to really push the saturation up, the brightness up, so it's nice and colourful.、Uh, we're going to change secondary is green, which doesn't go well with red. What does go well with red is black, but I don't think we can get a black on this. Less. We keep the saturation down. Bring up the brightness of the black. I know what you're thinking. What the hell are you talking about?、Uh, what type is this? The yellow, maybe. Bringing those yellows in. Okay, so you can customize pretty well. That's quite nice. And then you can move across, and then you could get different. Versions of the paint on this, you have to get to different levels, and then obviously you can add like little things like this, like spray paints. It's kind of like cool. I'm gonna put none there. Oh, you can change the treads as well, all the tires in this particular case, obviously. That's kind of cool. Lots to pick from as well. You need DLCs though for.、Uh, All these and they're pretty cool. Definitely looks worth. That looks monstrous though, right? This has just had a VR update, and it is a lot of people already tried it, and I have to say it looks pretty good. I've put some render scale on there, which has just ruined my FPS. It's one thing the FPS isn't very good. Frame rate is、uh, not good. Now, I don't think it was that sharp, so I wanted to put the render scale up, and that looks looks a lot better. But because it's so fast, it's also now blurry. So yeah, I might have messed that up somehow. We're in single player. There isn't much multiplayer to enjoy. Just saying. There's only one multiplayer that I saw. Oh wow, that's crazy! That is really, really nuts in VR, by the way. Oops. Getting constantly in here. It is absolutely ferocious. It looks good, but it, it's not as sharp as I'd want it to be. And you know something? I think I've kind of destroyed that by doing a render scale because something this fast is going to have a quite a beefy blur on lower reses. Oh, I was just trying to—I just put my shield on a little too late there.
So actually, you can hear him all the way over there. I was targeting that guy quite far away. Oh, I just missed. Okay, so I've got another missile. I need to target somebody. Got a hit on someone there. And he is out for the cat. Oh! Uh, ooh, oh my god, it's like playing GTA 5 like with your friends who are all dirty at GTA 5. Oh no! Oh wow! That is just nut, Casey! Okay, I don't know. I feel like I need to kind of fix the uh, frame rate a little bit to make this smoother experience. Oh, I've just crashed and burned. It, the grip on this, this car is not as good as I was hoping, considering the level of acceleration on it, uh, speed, total speed. Woo! Wow. Okay, I've got some toys to play with. This is so much fun. I can't tell you how much fun this is. I would like to really, really change the uh, frame rate though, when I can. Just been slowed down or something. Okay, I can really, really use my speed to just here to an advantage. That didn't go anywhere. The music's not too bad. Oh, I messed up. If you fall off the track, it's like every other game. If you fall off the track just once, you're just punished so badly, obviously. But holy crap, it's, it's hyper, hyper fun. It's like we might be lapping here. Some people. Scale away, now you've just gone. Where am I lapping? Oh. Woo! 
check that out. Yeah, there we go. All right, so what? I ended up third, did I? Oh, first. Oh, you came first. Woo! That is really good. Now I'm gonna have to change some of the uh, frame rate issues here. Like I changed the render scale. Boom, boom. Do, doom, do, doom, doom, doom. I'm thinking I wanna change this render scale back down. Uh, and I wanna tweak these settings a little bit because I think a game like this needs to be at 120 hertz. Don't you guys? Don't you guys? Post, post, yeah, let's drop that. Let's leave that the same. Special effects can go down. Shadow quality can go down. Object quality can go down. anti aliasing will can go down because that might be causing some issues. Right, might be. Okay. So now we're on hard. And uh, let's hope we get a really good frame rate because 120, I think, would make me feel a little less. It's not nausea that I'm feeling. It's, you know, it just it's just so quick. Just, I feel like I need reflexes of whip it, you know? Ref reflexes of uh, friggin' Tyson Fury or something, you know? Or Mike Tyson in a day. Wow, look at these walls, man. There's so much here. And don't forget, you can even go up on these walls. You can, oh, man. That is, it's like a roller coaster. It really is. And I, I don't get motion sickness, so I'm kind of happy that I don't because. If I did, this this would definitely do it. Oh shit! Oh, I just lost. But yeah, I'm thinking that the frame rate definitely needs to be improved. Uh, if I wasn't recording, it probably wouldn't be so bad. But I don't know. I'm gonna have to check to see what everyone else thinks about the frame rate in VR. It might be just me. It's happened many times. Oh, I'm so off the map here. Lucky I remember the reset button there. Oh, why is there loads of crosses everywhere here? Oh my god, I mean, that is, that is nuts. You gotta enjoy it though. It is an absolutely amazing game. It really is. Off the chart. Well, there we go. There is grip in a VR. Now they've uh, modded it for VR. And what can I say? Well, it grips and it's quick. And it's just so quick that I don't get motion sickness and I didn't get motion sickness playing this, but it did feel like I was on a roller coaster. It was that kind of feeling um, on it. it. Just spinning around and gripping different types of walls and stuff like that was just amazing. The graphics look pretty good and it's nice and colorful. It just seemed a bit kind of fuzzy and not sharp to me. I don't know why that was playing on the index. I kind of wish it was a bit more sharper, but the problem is, is the frame rate wasn't great neither. Um, I don't know if that was just me though, because sometimes I always seem to get these frame rate issues with OBS um, taking too much juice from the CPU or something. But I did check it and it didn't show that it, it was showing it was like taking about 5% from the gaming rig. So I don't think it's just, it is that, so I don't know. But then tweaking the settings, I did get better frame rates. It felt a bit more smoother, but then obviously I lose the quality a little bit and I would like to have better quality in there. So trying to get that balance is, is, is the, well, this is the only issue that I kind of found because other than that, the game is absolutely uh, amazing. It really is really good fun. Is it as good as Def Lap and like you know, those Mario Kart-y type ones? I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't feel quite the same with the whole kind of grip aspect of the game. And it's kind of more like Wipeout-y kind of. Uh, is it as good as Wipeout? Oh, well, I haven't played it, and hopefully some other people can tell you if it's actually as good as Wipeout. And yes, the sun is out, but we're not allowed out. So, uh, but I have been in the garden a little bit, which is fantastic. Um, so try to get out into your garden, if you've got a garden, to get some vitamin D at the moment as well. So yes, I do recommend this game, going back to the game. Um, I think it's fantastic, and yes, you should own it if you definitely like this kind of genre of game because it's the gameplay is brilliant when i went into multiplayer there was people playing not a whole lot of people playing um i didn't join a multiplayer game because i would have had to wait for their game to finish do not go into spectator mode 
and watch them because even though I didn't get motion sickness for it, it did feel very unpleasant and it, immersion breaking is the best word to explain it. It just pulls you really out of the immersion. I couldn't work out how to get into a first person cockpit view, but I think you can. But I didn't know how to, and I reckon that would have helped with the immersion because looking at it at third person like it was a Mario Kart type game, I kind of felt that kind of uh, didn't give me the immersion like looking at cockpit view would have been probably more uh, better or something like that for the game. So yeah, anyway, if you like this video, please give me a like and also subscribe because it goes straight to the heart. Hit that bell button if you want to watch more VR content like this and leave a comment about anything you've seen today in this game. Thank you for watching. I love you long time and yeah, ciao.